Hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm editing this video and I'm just going to have to stop and tell y'all all the stuff that happened. I'm, I'm going to show you the video, but this was such an unusual day. First of all, Paul was getting his, uh, he was getting vaccinated today. So um, he was going to show up late at the ramp, so I had to go pick up Paul. All right, guys, I got to do a little. Uh, chauffeur service this morning pick up paul at the dock he requested he requested a dock pickup <laughs> he's, he's ready he's ready i usually don't do this but since it's paul i'll i'll pick him up we were trying to watch paul all day to make sure he didn't have any signs of uh um, you know, some kind of reaction or something. So we, that was part of the day. Um, Paul had a new shirt. He was, he was very proud of his new shirt. He said it was from uh, Walmart and it was made from recycled materials. So we had a good time with that. Uh, now we got it. Oh, there's another one. There's what is this? You know, Paul's recycled material shirt. So you'll see it on the video. Um, also, for some reason today, every time Paul would throw out his line and like set his pole down and start to pick up another pole or do something else. He would catch, he, a fish would get on it and then he would not catch the fish. Like every time his float would go totally down and then he wouldn't catch the fish. So that happened over and over. That was really weird. And then also, uh, I was, we were fishing in a spot where we usually fish. And the next thing you know, we hear some guys pulling up to us and they're going, Hey, Hey, it's Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, hey, hey, we've been watching you on YouTube, and there you are, right there in the same spot where you fish on YouTube. <laughs> and so Paul looks at me, and he's like, do you know these guys? And I'm like, I have no idea who, who these guys are. So they're down here from Canton, Georgia, which is in metro Atlanta. And um, they're just down here fishing for a week. There's a couple of retired guys. And so they... Um, they, you know, we started talking to them. They're like, well, you can fish with us if you want to. Just go, you know, we're, we're going to get ready to go out here and fish this flat that I caught a bunch of fish on the other day. And so they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll follow you, you know, whatever. Because my, uh, my depth finder's not working. So I, I need to follow you. So, you know, it'll, it'll be safe for me. I'm like, okay. So we go taking off. And there's a west wind, which is not, there has, we have not fished Crooked River with a west wind since I've lived here. It rarely blows, you know, until this time of year do we rarely get a, a west wind. So we go out there and and we get in the river and I mean it is like rocking and rolling out there. <laughs> and Paul was like, "What well, do you think we really need to go out here?" And I'm like, "Ah, oh, you know, it's pretty rough." And so those guys were probably thinking, "Oh my lord, where are they taking us?" So we ran a pretty good ways and it was fairly rough. And so then we got out to the spot where we were fishing. And uh, we caught the weirdest, I mean, like, I caught, the sharks showed up. So, and Paul, Paul had a big shark on that he lost. And we, we had sharks. We had, I had a sea robin at one point, which you never see in shore. Uh, blue, a blue fish, a flounder, um, a whiting. It's like we caught one of every fish. And I didn't video all of it because a lot of them were small fish. Uh, but it, there was just so much going on. It was, and the wind was blowing like crazy. So you probably can't hear half of it. Nice trout. That's all. There we go. Paul has hooked a net and a trout at the same time. There we go. Woo. Today's been an adventure. Yeah, it's an adventure day. That's a good trout though. That's nice. Very nice. Good start to the day. Good start. Now we got it. Oh, there's another one. There's something. What is that jumping over there? Look at that. Something's eating the heck out of something over there. Right. 
baby trout. This is the way they were doing it today. It started getting bites, and I mean, it was like. Doop, doop. Uh, just missed one. Just caught one. Paul just missed like two. Did you have to say that? A lot of uh, well, I believe in telling the truth. Okay. We're telling the truth on this channel. Almost got one. shark got it. He needs a faster gear ratio for his uh, spinning reel. Oh my god. Because he couldn't he couldn't reel it fast enough to get away from the shark. And then he hit it about three feet with the boat. shark his shrimp was running around and the shark was jumping around trying to get it you could see it on top of the water and then Paul when he saw the shark he's like I gotta go I gotta get out of here he started reeling but the shark caught it the, oh, the, we got the shark chased it about when I say got off <laughs> the shark chased it about 20 yards that's why I made my kick on it. and everything. That was about a five foot shark. Oh well. Oh, I'll be If y'all would have saw that, it's probably about eight foot. Exaggerated. Y'all seen the movie Jaws? We're gonna need a bigger boat. We got some guys over here fishing with us from Canton, Canton, Georgia. They followed us over here against our will. <laughs> now we invited them. We invited them to follow us over here. Yeah. Oh, it started recording. Not yet. Well, Fixing we're waiting for you to catch a fish. This is a little better. They made me get y'all excited. <laughs> this is a lot better. No, it's a whitey.
<laughs> yes, brother. Something's happening, Paul. Got a fish? Got a fish. All right, what you got? Any nuts? No. Pretty decent, whatever. It's a flounder. Is it a flounder? That's yeah. nice. Looks like it could be a keeper. Oh, you need the nut then. All right, I'll get the nut. I'll have a big one. Yeah, you saw one. Chris is trying to catch that flounder again. There it is. I think. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, stop recording. Um, but anyway, I got the guys on camera at the end that are from Canton, uh, and they're supposed to be fishing tomorrow, so we might run into them tomorrow. But the one guy was going, I'm going to be on YouTube TV. He was so excited. So I got to make sure I put him on here so that he gets, he gets to be on YouTube. Um, it was, the, it was the craziest day and it, we weren't catching a lot of fish, but we caught a few, but anyhow, I'll, I'll throw this stuff on here, but I thought I need to explain a couple of things before you watch this. Made it to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got Ronnie Smith and Lou Trahan. Yeah, Trahan. That sounds like a professional wrestler's name. Yeah. Lou Trahan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's from it might. It may. It might. Oh well, okay. That'd be first. But that'd be, you know, that'd just be good TV. I know. I have something to talk about. Elberton, Georgia. It really happened. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys had to come up, spend a day with us. At least today, we may see them tomorrow too. Yeah. All right. 